Hi everybody, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio coming at you guys with another tutorial. This time we are going to be doing something about a line art. I've never actually done a lot of line art. I've always kind of skipped over it for the past few years as an artist. Um, it's not really something I do, but I definitely wanted to get the chance to explore it more, um, give you guys some tips on how to do it in OpenTunes. And I'm really actually excited for this because we're going to be using vector layers in this tutorial. And vector layers are just something that I never used. In the three years, three or so years that I've had OpenTunes, I never ever even touched vectors. And I've did it a couple times, like just a little tiny test, but I never actually used them for animation. So in this tutorial, we're going to be using vector layers in order to make our line art. And we're going to get started right now. Okay, so I'm just, I guess we're just going to have to hop in. So I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and make a new level. It's going to be a Toons vector level. Now, I did make sketches in raster levels because I was I wanted to be able to use the um, the my paint brushes that are come included with open tunes because they just look more natural as you as you guys can see there's like it looks like a real pencil you know what I mean I'm going to actually start with um, making a frame for each frame I'm not gonna end up drawing all these but I'm gonna at least make a frame for them um, and one of the things that's most important about using vectors is actually finding the right brush and I guess I'll go over that in a second. Let me just make these frames real quick. Um, so I'm gonna start by going into this windowed sort of mode. Then I'm gonna just go ahead and start drawing this frame. I'm actually not gonna draw the blurred lines simply because I'm going to end up using, I'm going to use the software to generate motion blur for this. So I don't think that using the blurred lines will be entirely necessary. Uh, like how I did in the sketch. That sketch is just to illustrate what's going on. Let me try to close this so I can fill it up with color later. Actually, I think I'm going to edit the lines. The one thing is that the reason actually I switched over, um, not really switched, but I'm using vectors in this tutorial is because of this very powerful line tool. You're just able to do so much with it. You can just draw literally anything and then fix it with this line tool. And that's just, it's kind of incredible if you think about it. Bring this point down a little. I'm gonna make sure to um, clean up all these boxes and make sure that they're all filled because if they're not filled, then we can't fill them with color. And it saves, it really does save a lot of time rather than just using a raster and um, making all the colors manually. Okay, so now I can go in. I'm gonna select the whole thing, put it up where it's supposed to be. Awesome. So yeah, I'm not gonna draw the blur blurred line just yet. I'm going to actually wait. I'm gonna give that a minute because I want. I want to use the software to do so. Okay, now we're going to get into the where we're going to find the brush. I'm going to draw this face and then I'm going to look at it, scan it, see what I want, and then I'm going to select one of the vector brushes in order to draw it. So I'll come back when I. I've already drawn the face. What I just did here is I adjusted the accuracy tool. If you turn it all the way down, then your lines are like not any, like they're not even close to what you did, but you can turn it all the way up and then they're exactly what you did. I want to keep it in the middle so Vector can kind of smooth out my curves and stuff like that so we can get some nice, some nice results. As you guys can see me use them, Vector has so many powerful tools that you can just jump in and like fix things with. Um, it's really awesome. So what I'm doing right now is that I had a curve. I'm making the inner eye, this inner eye section right here, this line thinner than the outer eye. And it's really easy to fix if I get something inaccurate. I can just adjust it like this. Um, I can make the lines thicker with this pump tool. It's really, really awesome. I can even make this part thin. It's really, really useful. So I'm actually going to use this to pump up this other side of the eyebrow. So there really is no, I don't have to go back and redo anything because it's so easy to just adjust it. You know what I mean? So that's, that's part of the reason I'm going to vectors. Also a benefit to vectors is that you can export in any resolution. Um, say this animation gets old and I want to put it in 4k. 
the vectors when you zoom in on them they don't ever lose quality because they're made by an equation so it's really re they're really really useful and I'm just I recommend them over raster simply because of their um, their extensive tools and just their lifespan is longer literally because as the future goes on you can just export in any resolution you don't have to lose you can you don't have to look back at your old animations in low quality which is really really awesome yeah so these tools you can really do so much in them um, I just as you guys can see I just used that circle tool to make a circle and now I'm going to make it look like the circle is kind of like drawn um, by adding some thicker parts on the bottom of the face and that's going to be a theme throughout this animation is that the lines kind of change their density you could say and this looks already more organic Mind you that when you're doing this, you want a character that's easy to draw, easy to replicate. Like I have Coco here, she's pretty simple um, to draw. And so just because when you're, when you're doing this, it's kind of, you see how bold the lines are and if your character isn't really fleshed out, it's not really gonna look good. This already looks, even this area kind of looks a little eh. Um, what I can do with that though, is I can pump up this thickness um, pump up this thickness and it just look it makes it, it makes it look, gives a little more charm to it now we have the actual first drawing which we're going to model the rest of the drawings off of so I just wanted to make sure it was perfect um, sorry if that took a little too long um, I'm, I'm most likely I'll speed up this process um, in post okay so what we have here is the model that we're going to be drawing off of. And when we can go over to this little box right here, I'm in the basics tab. Um, it's kind of easier for me to animate. And because it has so many tools, it has this little frame displayer, it has the color tools and the everything I kind of need. Um, so I'm going to go over here, hit vector. Then I'm going to go over down to this lines area. Don't, don't pay attention to the, all this craziness is going to make your thing look all strange and all this nonsense anyway we're gonna go over to this line thing and then we're going to select which lines oh my goodness that one looks really cool make our animation looks cool look cool now this this brush actually makes um everything run kind of slower which is kind of weird oh this is kind of cool um so this is what it's supposed to look like and this is what it let me turn onion skin off because we're seeing lines that aren't really there the appeal is awesome and the thing about this is that you can even if this does make your computer run slowly you can just apply this last minute onto your animation and it's gonna look fine which is so cool um, you don't even have to animate it like this so let's see between this one and that one that one kind of makes the lines less thick I'm not sure if I like that so much let's go down here this is a really weird kind of one um, it looks like it's taking a while to load that's just doesn't look that great all right, so it doesn't really look like a lot of them catch my eye. Maybe I will end up using this sketchy looking one. It just looks the best because it kind of erases some lines and it just makes it look really elegant. But as you can see, this will sometimes slow down your computer. I even built a new system recently and it's already kind of slowing it down anyway. Um, so we can keep it on this for now. And then in the end, we can choose which one, which style we like the most. We can actually render in, um, which is really sick. Um, so maybe I'll choose one that isn't so slow to just draw. No, that's okay. Never mind. All right, so we can keep going. Um, so I'm gonna start explaining the tools now. All I can do, all I have to do right now, really, is just draw the shape of the eye, and then go to this pump tool, which is literally what it sounds like. It just pump, pump like you're pumping air into the eye, which is really really cool. This is this has probably become my favorite tool in the last 20 minutes, which is awesome. I'm going to adjust this. This is the adjusting tool. I don't really know what it's called. Um, maybe a name will pop up if I... Yeah, so, so it's called the control point editor tool. Uh, the pump tool is called the pump tool <laughs> magnet. And then I don't really use the rest of these. 
because to me they're just not important um but yeah these two the control point editor and the pump tool just masterpieces really really useful stuff so everything has its little dynamic tool which is awesome so i'm going to keep going with this and i'll catch up with you when i have something to share So that's about as far as I'm going to go. I'm going to do the rest on my own time, but I'll show you what it looks like so far. Um, set stop marker, make sure this thing's invisible. Um, so yeah, it looks pretty bare bones, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this um, brush on it right here, and it automatically makes it look a lot cooler. Um, so yeah, so all you got to do is just do a little bit of that um, work, a line arc, it takes a really long time. I just realized I really, I'm already seeing things I have to fix. Um, like uh, this this arm getting too gargantuan, but that's okay. Um, it does take a lot of work. It takes a very long time. I don't know how long that was, but it's probably like a few hours, maybe, um, probably two. Um, yeah, I'm gonna finish the rest on my own time. But as you guys can, as you guys can see, this looks really clean. It looks really good. Even though her hand looks kind of weird there, don't don't mind that. I'm gonna add this little subscribe thing there. Um, so the next tutorial that's gonna come out is coloring. When I finish up this line work, I'm going to work on coloring it. Then you guys will be able to see it um, all come together. So thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I've had a, really lo a lot of fun making it. Um, just sitting down, getting to do some work was really cool. And I really hope to do more stuff like this in the future. If you guys want to see any of the royalty-free music you've heard in this video, then you guys can head over to my Patreon page where I have polls where you can decide what video comes out next and royalty-free music to use in your own projects and videos. And it's really, really cool. Um, I really want you guys to have more engagement, more opportunity to um, affect what comes out next to be able to interact with me more personally and if you guys want to do that head over to patreon you can head over to discord and twitter if you're not able to support me on patreon it's perfectly fine i get it and with that said i'll see you guys next time peace